Welcome to the joy of development. Today we'll be getting real-world terrain and putting it into Unreal Engine using height maps. Height maps are grayscale images that represent an area's topography. For this example, we're going to take Mount Fuji and put it into our VR snowboarding game. Normally, for getting real height maps, I recommend using Terrain Party. With this tool, we're given a blue square that we can size to our liking. We move that square over the region we want our height maps of, click the download button, and give it a name. This will download a few different height maps of the area, and a README file. I recommend reading the README file to explain what the differences in the height maps are. That said, while Terrain Party is great, it's often not working. Either unable to retrieve the map data, downloading an empty file with a README saying no maps found, or timing out without any download at all, which is my case right now. So we're going to use an alternative in this video. It still works great, it just doesn't let you set your measurements. So we'll need to do some guesswork. Now we can still use Terrain Party Square to get a rough idea of the size of our area. Alternatively, we can go to Google Earth and get some measurements. Now that we know the size of our area in kilometers, we can go to 10grams.github.io forward slash heightmapper. I'll have a link in the description. Find your area on this map. Zoom in on it as much as you can while it still fits the screen. Make sure auto exposure is set to true. Click export and save your height map. Next, we're going to move into a program called GIMP. This is a free program similar to Photoshop that we can use to touch up our height map a bit. If you have Photoshop, feel free to use that instead. I'll have a link for GIMP in the description. We'll bring our height map into GIMP, and then we're going to crop it to a square, keeping the essential areas. Now we're going to set our image mode to grayscale, and our precision will be set to 16-bit integers. After that, we're going to go to Filters and use a Gaussian blur on the image. I usually use roughly 3 to 5 for my blur size. Next, we're going to create two guides on our image right down the middle, horizontally and vertically. My image has a resolution of 2160, so the halfway mark is 1080. After setting up both the guides, we will then slice using guides to split our map into four areas. Now we want to scale each of these images. In Unreal Engine, each pixel will be seen as a meter. Since our map of Fuji is about 8 to 9 kilometers wide, and we split it in half, we want to use a resolution of 4000 to 4500 pixels. But we also want to use Unreal Engine's recommended landscape sizes. So we'll look on their website to find this chart. The closest sized is the second to the top, at 4033. So we'll go back into GIMP and scale each quadrant to 4033 by 4033. With the maps all scaled, we can export them. But we need to use a particular naming convention, which is the name of your map followed by its coordinates. So the bottom left section of the map is underscore x0 underscore y0. Moving to the right increases x, and moving up increases y. Make sure to export as 16-bit grayscale. With those exported, we can move into Unreal Engine. You can see I have a level called Fuji, with a directional light and a sky sphere. In the world settings, I've set Enable World Composition to True. This gives us access to these two tabs up here, and we're going to be focusing on the Levels tab. Click the Levels drop-down and select Import Tiled Landscape. Now click Select Height Map Tiles and select the maps we just created. We also want to adjust the scale of our map a bit, particularly on the Z-axis. This will get a more accurate representation of our map. To calculate your Z-scale, find out the lowest and highest points in your map in meters. Subtract the lowest from the highest to get your range. Tengram actually displays these for you. Once you have your elevation range, we multiply it by 100 to change it to centimeters. Then multiply it by Unreal's ratio of 1 over 512. This will give you your z-scale. In my case, it was 722. That said, we did eyeball our initial measurements, so you may need to tweak this a bit to look more accurate. In my case, I went a bit too tall. I also scaled the x and y a bit extra to get closer to 9 kilometers. And for a bit of texture, I threw on our ground instance material. Once everything is imported, you can double-click the maps in the Levels tab to show them. You may notice that there are some seams that don't line up perfectly. Don't worry, that's totally fine. Just use the smooth brush to blend them together. With all that done, we can place our character into our level, preview it, and now we're snowboarding on Mount Fuji.
Thanks for watching, I hope this video helped you, and if it did, please be sure to subscribe, hit the bell icon, and smash that like button.